So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a super cool feature in DaVinci Resolve that I bet you probably didn't know existed. I'm going to show you guys how to use your phone as a second monitor in DaVinci Resolve so that you can view your work live on a second screen. And this is awesome because in the past when I was editing vertical videos for social media, I'd have to keep exporting just to see how my video is going to look on the phone. But now I can actually just have it stream straight to my phone so that I can see the finished product before I even export it. It's going to save you a ton of time. And as of me recording this, I think it's only available on iPhones right now. But um, I'm going to show you guys how to set that up today. It's super simple. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is open up the App Store on your phone, go over to search, and then type in DaVinci Resolve Remote Monitor. So it's going to be this one right here. And we're going to download it. And while it's downloading, we're going to go to DaVinci Resolve and sign up for a cloud account. All right, guys, so now you're going to go to cloud.blackmagicdesign.com. I left a link down in the description. And you're going to sign up for a cloud account. So just go over here and hit sign up, create your account, and then I'll show you guys the next step. All right, so now you want to head back into DaVinci Resolve. And we're going to go up here to the top menu bar, go to Workspace, and then we're going to click on Remote Monitoring. And then you're going to see this little icon down here pop up. What you want to do next is click on that. And we're going to go over here and we can mess with our settings here. Um, I typically do it in 10 bit and then I'll do 20 megabits per second. All right, guys. So next, what we need to do is we need to copy this code and then head over to our iPhone and paste it on there. Okay. And if you're on the same network as your Mac, you should be able to just paste that straight without having to do anything. All right. So now we're going to hit join and then you're going to have to go back onto DaVinci Resolve and click accept. And now you can see that we have our remote grade on our iPhone. Everything is set up, working real smoothly, and it's just really awesome. It's going to save you a ton of time in DaVinci Resolve. Yeah, that's how you use your iPhone as a second monitor in DaVinci.